The Red-Headed Cohen. There was the case of one whom everybody called either the Red-Headed Cohen or the Cheerful Soul, who used to visit Atinka and was very popular with everyone. Everybody took him to be a very ordinary visitor and welcomed him because he was such a jolly person, cheering everybody with his constant joking. No one suspected that he was anything more than he appeared to be, and no one even troubled to find out the reason for his coming or the purpose of his staying. That is, no one but David Labe. He felt very intrigued and wanted to find out more about this red-headed Cohen who was always so jolly and friendly with everyone but most of all with children. In the base of Medrash, he always gathered around him all the little boys who just worshipped him. And no wonder, for he was always giving them sweets, nuts, and apples. He always insisted that they make a bracha before eating any of these things, and all the others would respond, Amen. Then he would tell them such interesting stories about all the great men in Jewish history that they just listened open-mouthed. He would urge them to learn all they could from the rabbis, and would examine them on what they had already learned in Cheder. Finally, he would sing to them and teach them songs so that they could sing with him, and sing they did with a will, ending up with a hilarious dance. Do you wonder they, that they all loved their big red-headed friend who treated them so generously and who played with them so delightfully? Many of the men criticized them for being so childish, childish. but David Leib felt that here was no ordinary clown, as some called him, but a man with a mission to inspire the Jewish children so that they acquire a love for Judaism and things Jewish without noticing that they were being taught. That, surely, is the most successful way of teaching. David Leib took every opportunity of studying this cheerful soul, followed him where and when he could, and when he noticed the way he waxed enthusiastic, his face aglow, and his eyes sparkling whenever he spoke about Jews and Judaism, David Leib felt convinced that he was a personality well worth noting. Later, David Leib learned more about the red-headed Cohen. He had been a Malabad in Kalishk for a long time, and was well known for his learning and highly respected for his noble character. His name was Rabbi Sender. One day, Rabbi Sender suddenly made up his mind that he had taught long enough in Kalishk, and he ought now to turn his attention to the Jewish children of the small towns and villages who might be in greater need of his teaching.